what is the result of the laser experiments? Did the team see the laser light on the other side? We are here in the nocturnal experiment in the Tre Marais Reservoir. We are on the shore of the lake. The positioning of the laser is here by the lake, a meter or so from the water level where the second laser is. It is also in the same position, exactly one and a half meters from the water level of the reservoir. As you can see, the two devices are communicating at a distance of 18 kilometers. We have successfully done an experiment today, and we are proving that the Earth does not have the format that science believes it has. So as we are at 18 kilometers, there is no water level difference from here to the other crew that is 18 kilometers away. It's exactly level. On this distance, there should be a visual obstruction by virtue of the curvature of approximately 6 meters. And we were able to get the signal from a laser cannon from the other shore at 18 kilometers on a little more than a meter from the level of the lagoon. This is the ultimate test. There is no curvature. To guarantee the accuracy of the result, the researchers decided to conduct a surprise experiment. With the team still in place, a beam of light was lit that should be visible at 18 kilometers on the side where the team of surveyors was, who used a total station. At that distance, the Earth curvature would have risen 6.3 meters, equivalent to a three-story building. Do you see? Yes. Down. Can you see? Yes. Down. Can you see? Can you see? Yes. I am at water level. At water level. So okay, I will write down and you read the angles and the coordinates. There you take that height where it was blinking at the water level. It's on water level. But on how many meters high? Zero. <laughs> it's blinking in the water, right? It's in the water. 10 centimeters from the water. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to write down the angle here. Wait, Wilson. During the experiment, a laser was added without warning the topographers. Do you see any other light? I see it. I did see. I saw a laser now. He did see. He saw the laser. It die off. Lower the laser. All right, wait a minute, Wilson. Now I saw the laser. Did you see the laser? Not now. I saw. I saw the laser there. Lower a little bit. Do you see the light still? I see the laser there. Do you see the light still? I see the laser there. That's good. Just a minute. Urandi, what's going on here? Dude, it's over. It's done. At the water level. It was there at two meters and something. Well, now it's ruined. <laughs> Now, so nothing, anything else needs to be done. We can go, right? We are with a telescope. We have a precision level, an optical level, with a topographer. We have a total station, which is a topography equipment. 
that is used for measurements and level determination. So we are here 18 kilometers marked with a GPS on an island on a point of Lagoa, 18 kilometers from the topography equipment there with the crew. So we put a light beam and then the topography equipment can see the light at water level. The light placed on the water level can be visualized by the topography equipment that is positioned 18 kilometers. And the engineer remained perplexed by the outcome of the experiment. We can go, right? This is unquestionable proof that the Earth is not a sphere, for the waters are level. And the result of the laser experiment carried out at Lake Titicaca. It is hitting the hill on the hill. Look over there, it is hitting a tree above us here. Look at theirs, look at theirs. Are you pointing yours too? We're seeing, we see yours. It's just too high, it's very high. Look there, you saw, you saw, in this direction. It made it. There, it appeared again. Go! There, it made it again. That's it. Stop there. More to the left. Stop, stop there. Stop. Through light here. It is illuminating here. It is moving there too. Here it is illuminating everything. We have already done the first tests, and the laser of team number one has already appeared here in the treetops that are on our side. Then the trees here have about two meters, two and a half meters. So there we start directly discarding the hypothesis of the Earth being spherical. Because we are 35 kilometers away from team number one in a straight line from end to end, on the lake, on lake level. And according to the theory of spherical Earth, that 35 kilometers should give at least 23 meters and 98 centimeters of Earth's curvature. So a light communication would be impossible as we just have had. The result was positive here. We could see the laser on the other team there. And they could see us too. More than 30 kilometers, so there was no curvature. Total flatness. The research here was excellent. Here with this laser visibility test, team two and team one at 35 kilometers, there really was an unusual commutation at a distance of 35 kilometers. And that there should be an arc of approximately 24 meters. Neither group one or two should be seeing the lights. But how could one project a laser beam from one shore to another, 35 kilometers away, if, in the theory of the spherical Earth, there would be a curvature of 24 meters in height, and the laser equipment was positioned at two meters high, parallel to the water level? Lake Titicaca has a width of 65 kilometers and a length of 165 kilometers. Other people say that the lake has spines, but it has not. It's a flat surface. It is a mirror Lake Titicaca here in Peru. If you look, for example, 30 to 40 kilometers, the lake looks flat. This is yet another unquestionable proof of the flatness of the waters, which definitively overturns the theory of the sphericity of the Earth. And what about the specialists Mauro Diaz and Paulo Parra who accompanied the experiments? 
I have always worked with the concept that the Earth is spherical. And my colleagues and all cartography is based on the sphericity of the Earth. A problem even of reasoning. Because I worked so many years in a belief, and I will accept a new belief, variables that had to be explained. As long as I did not have this explanation, I remained with a very big doubt that tormented me and even made me lose sleep at night. I kept thinking about it. But on this trip we did here on the Tre Marais Dam, we did a very important test that is the projection of a laser at a distance of approximately 18 kilometers. And it is known in cartography and by the conception of the sphericity of the Earth that we cannot see a thing beyond 10 kilometers. So we witnessed this experience with all success. It was done at night. The laser beam projected parallel to the water mirror. The test resulted perfect and satisfactory. And we made the greatest effort using as much as we had in our technology to do this test. We brought a laser beam, we brought theodolites, we used communication radios. So I declare concluded the basic part of this research, and I feel it is a moment of glory for us. So to finish, I know there will be a series of confrontations, doubts among other technicians, but we are convinced to get them also to do research. I think this is a very big paradigm shift for Earth science. I, as an engineer, and all the studies I did to train me and specialize in me, I always considered the Earth as a spherical shape. So I had these preconceptions. But for us to start, when we began doing the tests, and until so now, I deleted the prejudices that I had from my head. Trying to imagine myself without any knowledge of the Earth to verify whether it is spherical or not. It is clear, without a doubt, that the Earth in the lake's region is flat. There was no difference of level at all. So I know it's difficult even for you to have the courage to talk about this issue here. Many professionals have refused to talk about it out of fear of having their career damaged, their image damaged, for contradicting a theory that has been there for 2,000 years and which has never been proven in practice. In the case of the Earth's sphericity, they are thus only theories in relation to exact science. What advice would you give to the researchers, to the people who occupy the same chair as you? The important thing is to eliminate these preconceptions, because those who understand these three forces well, magnetism, density and pressure, may have a very great technological advance, develop other concepts of transport, of energy. I think those who understand from this new knowledge, try to deeply understand, they will have a very great gain in technology. We humans of the Earth, we will have a very great gain of technology. I have learned one thing. We have to have an open mind to discuss any theory, even if it seems absurd. At first I had this difficulty of understanding this revelation. I spent months working on this. We are coming to the end and all the report. All this will be archived, made available on the internet, for anyone who wants to repeat the tests. We will include all the devices that were used, all technologies, all coordinates.
We are here at the Trey Marais Dam in Minas Gerais, and all this will be available to all of you, so that everyone can repeat the tests at home if they want. With this, we hope that our contribution to science and to the people, to the government, to the Air Force, not only Brazilian, but to all countries, including, so that all people can have a different vision from those 2,000 years that we had this spherical Earth theory. And now I hope you draw your own conclusions.